Good day, you guys, and welcome back to the Ralphies. It's Nadine today. Um, I'm with you guys alone today. Hope you guys enjoy that already. Um, I was out running a couple errands by myself, and um, I still have a couple more things to do, you guys. And um, right from the top, at, right from the top of the mukbang, we'll just say that there is a storm coming. Okay, there's a storm coming. And with that being said, Canadians, I was going to let you guys be in suspense for a bit in the video, but no, I think we'll just get right into it. Please don't hate on this video right away, you guys. Like, give the video a chance. Actually, try, the wa try to watch the video right through, you guys, and see if you agree or disagree with what I'm about to talk about. Um, it's not too, too deep or anything, of course. Not on this channel. Hmm. But, um, I'm going to say this. I live in Canada. There's a storm coming, a winter storm. And with that being said, if you go out even in the, not, not really the middle of the storm, well, maybe in the middle of the storm, I don't know personally myself, because we don't really wait till the mi middle of a storm to go shopping. That's just something we don't do. But, um, when the beginning of a storm comes, and it's snowing it right now, but, um, this is not the storm. This is just like a snow day, of course. There's a storm coming, um, is it tomorrow or the next day? And it's supposed to be a big storm. So, when us Canadians on the East Coast, I'll say, when we know a storm is coming, we go to all the grocery stores, whatever grocery stores are around us, and we go straight for uh, the chip aisle. It is something that I would say, I'm going to say all Canadians do. If you um, West Coasters are watching and you don't believe it's accurate or it's not something that you guys really do, say so in the comments below. Leave a comment. Let us know. I hear a truck coming. I am parked back by a snowbank, if you guys can't tell, and I'm watching all the ve vehicles go back and forth. And that's something I just like to do. Um, so yeah, we all go to, majority of us go to our grocery stores. We go straight for the chip aisle. This is like a very impromptu mukbang. I bought what I bought right now, you guys, to take it back to our place um, for the storm. But I thought, you know what? All I need to do, do is go grab a tea, and I could really do a mukbang, and I'll just probably go buy another couple things before I go home. Um, so hubby has fresh stuff. You know, I can't get, always give him my leftovers. Sometimes he gives me my leftovers, and sometimes I give him my leftovers, and that's how it just goes. So I went to the chip aisle. Oh, and what I was going to say, too, about the chip aisle, when you go, like, I'm, even at the beginning of a storm, you go to get your last minute things because you know the storm's coming, and people are going to be, like, not locked down, but you're going to be in your home for, like, a day, maybe two, because cleanup takes a while and stuff as such. But um, you go to the chip aisle, like, at the beginning of the storm, the chip aisle, you guys, is like empty. I'm talking like empty. We had a storm, I don't know, is it three, four, or five days ago? I don't know how long ago. Just like last week. And I went to go do the same thing, get chips, because that's what everybody runs for. If you stock up on salads, you're a Canadian, and you say you want to try and claim you stock up on salads in a storm... Boil, 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 boil. I don't know if I can believe you. I tr truly, sincerely, honestly don't think I can believe you. I see everybody throwing bags of chips and everything into the cart um, at the beginning of a storm. And that's what people, that's just what we all do in Canada when it comes to a storm. Everybody stocks up on chips. They know they're not going to starve for 24 to 48 hours. It's a quick meal to get, I guess, in case power outages and everything. And I just have to get, um, guacamole for I go home. Remind me, you guys, I gotta get guac. Because Daryl will not live if I don't get guac. I gotta get guac for my man. And I love it too. Anyway, I went to the chip all today. Um, and I found such a gem. If anybody eats these um, 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 nacho chips, you know that these cost a penny. They cost almost five bucks a bag right now. And when I went into, um, I went into, uh, 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 I went into a grocery store, you guys, and these were on sale two dollars. I even checked the expiry date, and the expiry date is like good. So 
They're on sale, two bucks a bag. So I grabbed two. There was a limit of six. I wasn't greedy. I bought two. So these are the two I have. I have a hint of jalapeno, which we love. And hint of lime is our absolute favorite. And they have the plain and they have the mini round ones and whatever. But I thought I'd go with these two for today. And I really, truly thought I was going to bring them home. But here we are going to do an impromptu mukbang. And then I had to go to Dollar Store. This is where I got I got at one store these chips. They were on sale two bucks. It's pretty good, right? Really good price. So I got those two. And then I had to go to Dollar Store because I had to get a couple things. And I got medium heat Tostitos. Um, um, how do you say that? Salsa Conqueso. Conqueso? I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, we got the Tostitos. Um, this is not even, it wouldn't even put together as. I didn't even intentionally do it as I'm doing all Tostitos, but I thought, since I got the chips in the car, and I went to Dollar Store, I had to get a couple more things, I'd seen this, and I thought, it's good to have for hubby and I at home, and then I thought, shag this, I'm going to get a bottle of water. My mouth was just salivating, you guys, I'm so hungry. Major big intro, sorry. I said, I'm going to get some water, and do this, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to have water down behind, cheese. no. I'm going to go to Tim's. But I did get myself a water, a Quina, which I could take home anyway. And then I thought, no, I don't want to do cold water down behind cheese. I just don't think that that's um, appropriate to do for health reasons. Yes, and I eat a lot of junk food. Oh, my God. Laugh, you guys. Just laugh. Like, y'all just don't eat no junk food. Give me a break. Who are you trying to convince you don't eat junk food? And put up a profile picture for, for the love of goodness sake. Put up a profile picture. I know one person just put up a new profile picture, and I knew I know this user, and this is not what you look like, girl. You need to rechange and put up your actual picture. Google shows better than what you are showing. Um, yeah, that's enough right there. So I thought I would go to uh, Tim's. I just love, I start to love doing more mukbangs with you guys. I just love it. People can be so fake behind their little keyboards. I'm not fake over here. I call it how I see it. You, um... Yeah, yeah, that, I'll leave that right there. I went to Tim's and got a green tea, you guys. So I'm going to have my green tea down behind my chips and my cheese. And I might even have a pack of gloves and raisin. And don't tell me it's not healthy because it's raisin. Raisin is full of iron. Now don't get me going, okay? Cheese is what? Protein and dairy and... Build your bones and kills. Is it calcium? Calcium! <laughs> There's calcium in this, right? Oh, 4%! For two tablespoons, I'm gonna be high on calcium. Build up that immune system, girl! This video is for entertainment purposes, okay, you guys? Should have said it at the very top, but it's in there now anyway. It's for entertainment purposes. You don't like my videos, why are you even here, okay? With that being said, Mama Bear is going to say her grace, and she's going to get right into the Purell hand sanitizer. I usually love to wash my hands with, like, really hot water and, um, whatchamacallit, soap. But, uh, I'm not by a sink right now. And I was out touching, like, doors and stuff, you know? Why is this leaking at the top? What? Why? Um, yeah, these doors, these nasty doors that we got all got to touch going into stores. You really want to wash your hands after you touch all the doors. Oh, guys, I'm in the barn. Whoa. Oh, gross. This is so... I hate using this. I much rather have my hands under, um, running water, hot water. And soap, you guys. I'm not able to till about another couple hours. So, PRL hand sanitizer. Big shadow will have to do. We trust that it says it will kill 99.9% .9 of germs. So you do that, PRL. You kill those germs on my hands, okay? Because I'm going in on some Tostitos. So I was gonna do the little story time of um, the storm at the like towards the end of the video, but whatever, you just heard me ramble on. Now you want to watch me stuff this face, this pretty little face, um, stick around. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest decision of the day, for real, is, um, do I eat the lime? Or do I eat the jalapeno chips? I hear a noise. 
It's not a snowblower. There's not enough snow to fall yet. Hold on to the snowblower, boys. Just give it a minute, all right? People driving by looking at me like I'm loony. Keep on going, Law. You look quite good going that way. Keep on going. See ya. <coughs> oh, I gotta get this schismic of um, Tostitos up in here, too. So how am I gonna hold two bags? I can do it. I know I can, somehow. Yeah, just deciding which bag to pick. Yeah. Yes, bye. Yes, look right at me. Oh, I'm holding two bags of chips. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. I'm okay. I swear I'm okay. So, can you see the two bags? I'm trying to do a good thumbnail, boys and girls. Yes, keep going, brother. Keep on going. That should be good for thumbnails, you guys. So sincerely. Um, I think because there's so much heat, and when I say medium heat, you guys, I find that's like heat, okay? I don't need to go to no far end of it, because I'll never see the light of day again. <coughs> so, with the Tostitos um, Salsa Con Queso, um, the cheese dip. Um, it's a bit of heat in that, so I think I was really wanting to do the jalapeno chips, but I can't have heat and heat, and then hot tea down behind it all. No. So I'll save the jalapeno ones for home. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with the lime testitos, okay? If you guys never ever tried these, like in your life, which I've doubted, y'all had to try this by now, I think. But if you've never ever tried the lime or the jalapeno testito chips, and you like lime or the jalapeno, you need to go out and get it right away. I'm telling you. And try them. Oh, joy to the world. Oh, yes, baby. That's where it's at right there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep my chips where. I got the steering wheel down today, bye. How am I supposed to do this? Put the chips in there. I'm going to have a swig of my um, tea, tea first. What are you doing? Spilling everywhere anyway. What's wrong with ya? Hold the boat. Okay, guys. Green tea. Medium green tea, half sugar. If you ever want to send me one my way. Joke. I wouldn't drink it anyway. So good. God, I love my green tea. So today, you guys, it's just like minus five. It's not, it's pretty mild. Like, I know you people maybe down in California or Florida is going minus five. Oh my God, are you crazy? It's not warm. Listen, compared to like minus 40, minus five is very warm. It's the cover. We don't really care about the cover, do ya? No. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's what the cheese sauce looks like. Some people, I guess, heat it up. And then others like me. <laughs> we just go in and dip, okay? Oh, take the first chip. Bite it, bite it, bite it. Quick! <laughs> um, Daryl, my lover, I'm going to get more cheese sauce. For us, or for you. As soon as I'm done this a little um, impromptu mukbang. And I'm going to get us more chips, too, for they sell out, for a storm comes, okay? Okay. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for the snack. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm, I'm just salivating. Uh. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to double dip, too. Because I can. <laughs> this is breakfast, guys. 
I'm not even joking. Mmm. Ten oh five AM Mama Bear. Oh I'm into this. This is good stuff. So if you're in Canada and you know a storm's coming, what do you run it and get? Tell me. Mmm. Got a good little one for you, Daryl, my love. Mmm. Oh wow. So, Tostito chips are not too bad. They're healthy. They made corn, aren't they? Isn't corn healthy? They're not deep fried. I wish I could have found a taller bottle of this. Mm. If I eat this whole bag of Tostitos, that's okay, isn't it? I guess Nadine is okay. She let my eat it. I know Nadine, I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. Next time... <clears throat> next time you Canadians go shopping, look at the chip aisle if you don't believe me. Just for a storm's coming. Hmm. And it's almost like a Black Friday, really. People are in there going mad. They don't even look at price tags. People got that much money? They're not even looking at price tags. We only buy chips or anything when it's on sale. I'm the sale queen. You want to give me a queen title? There's a sale queen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Oh, you guys. This is a phenomenal breakfast. Mm. I was told when I was about, what, 16, I had a galvanized stomach. I could eat anything at any hour in the morning. <clears throat> hmm. Back when I was around 20, ma'am, I used to sit down and eat um, nachos like this. Except you do a nice fine layer on your pizza pan, <clears throat> on your pizza pan, and you fill it up with like cooked ground beef, sautéed onion, sautéed um, peppers, what else? Pineapple. Like I can't, I eat pizza without pineapple, but I, if I had it my way, I'd have pineapple on every bit of pizza and nachos going. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um. What was that? Oh, yeah. So, 
<clears throat> I can sit down and eat nachos two and three and four in the morning. Mm. I'm going to bed and get up like what, five or six or seven and start my day. And yes, you guys, <clears throat> if I must address it, which I don't have to, but I will, um, certain things run in my family just like it runs in your family and your family and your family and everybody's family, families. That don't mean you have to accept it into your life and you say, oh, I'm going to come down with that. I'm going to be just like so-and-so in my family. Are you for real? Where I come from and the relationship I have with my Lord and Savior, I can eat what I want in moderation, you guys. I'm not going to eat, like, a bag, a bottle of cheese and chips every single day of the week. I'll do this, like, once every, what, six months maybe? No, pizza. That's different. Huh. But just because so-and-so in your family gets a certain sickness or whatever, doesn't mean you're going to get it. I have stuff very close to me, certain things going on with other people. That's literally blood close to me. That don't mean I got it. That don't even ever mean I'm going to come down with it. No. No. I'm sorry you guys believe that stuff, man. I feel so bad for some of you. Extremely bad for some of you. It's, it's so sad how some people think what you guys think in the comments, what you say in the comments. I feel so bad for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. I'm trying to recall the last time I opened up a bottle of sauce and chips and did this. When Daryl sees this mukbang, he's going to be like, wow, when was the last time you did that, Nadine? Because he knows I don't do this every day. I can't remember the last time I did this. I think it was Gerald and I together. Um, I think it was up in the woods. Mm hmm. I think it was up in the woods. Yeah. And maybe it was with you guys, too. For real. So, it might have been four or five months ago or something. Six months ago, maybe. I don't know. Mmm. I think what I'm going to start doing with you guys is videos like this. Um, when I'm snackish, I'm just going to do snacks with you guys, too. Mm. I'm not always going to do big meals with you guys, no. Mm -hmm. I bought a very cute mug today. You guys will soon get to see it. You're going to get to see all the mugs I buy. Or hubby buys me. You are. Because that's how much we love you guys. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Nelly. This is so good. Mm. 
It's so spicy. That is hitting my nose, you guys. Maybe. Let's put the bag down here. Because I know probably some of you guys are irritated. Because I had to reach in front of the camera how many times. I'm so sorry, guys. Ser sincerely sorry. Honestly. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Mm. Also... For those of you that go out to the store and buy chips and dip, oh yeah, boys, you gotta buy dip too. You can't just buy chips and that's it. It's too boring. What chips do you guys buy at the store? That's what I wanna know. Do you, do you guys buy that um, party mix stuff? Why does this transport truck have to park close to me here now? Please keep going, my brother. What chips do you guys buy? And I'm not dipping a lot of cheese. You see that? I only have a quarter bottle gun. It's not too bad. I don't want to eat a whole bottle. I don't. Mm. You want to talk about comfort food? <clears throat> mm. Oh, what's her name on YouTube? Lexi, babe. Where'd she go? Where did she go, you guys? Is she okay? Does anybody know? Whatever happened to Lexi, babe? Chips and dip remind me so much of Lexi, babe. I just love watching her videos, and we still watch them from time to time. <clears throat> I hope she's okay, you guys. Some YouTubers, mukbangers, that have been uploading for like a long time. And then they just stop. We gotta wonder if everything is okay. We stop from time to time, you guys, because life happens, you know? Not because we want to stop. We both love recording. <clears throat> Just right now, Daryl wants to take a break. That's not going to be for long. He pops in every now and then. Mm. 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 Oh my god. I'm gonna go get more dip. Mm hmm. Gotta get guac. Guac in a storm. That's what I like. 
And I got my two bags already. I have. We have. Because Daryl likes tea in the two now, guys. Um. Daryl likes his chai tea. We both love peppermint. I like orange pico. I think Daryl do too from time to time. And green tea. I finally got Daryl drinking green tea. Mmm. This is so good. Oh my god. Taking off those like jalapeno bits because this girl would be on fire. Mmm. Daryl don't mind all those um, bites of jalapeno. Mm. I would love to do like a, a fruit platter with you guys or a veggie platter or something. I have no jaw teeth so... I don't know how that would really go with the veggies. Like raw, I love raw veggies, but it's hard for me to chew them, you guys. This is hard to trust me. The only way I can eat carrot now is if I <laughs> puree it, grate it, cook it. I'm not like Bugs Bunny anymore, you guys. Mmm. 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 I'm making myself stop now, you guys. I could keep going a little bit more. I might get sick. I do not want to get sick. Mm -mm. That's all the sauce gone. Hmm. Yeah. I said I'm seven. There's nobody to take it from me. I don't have willpower. Hence, my husband. Oh, wow. Nadine, you said you were stopping. Well, give it up, girl. Give it up. Pepper. I love red pepper doll. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is bad. There's nobody to stop me. Daryl, where are you? You don't even stop me from eating anyway. What am I talking about? Mm. This is my last chip. Is it? Gotta be. That cheese sauce is so good. Oh! Mm. 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 Oh my god, I want to keep going. Mmm. 
I remind myself of somebody eating now. Mmm. 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 <laughs> but it's so good. Are you guys moaners when you eat? Mmm. 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 Oh, what did I use? More than half a jar. Or around a half jar. Is it just a half a jar? Can I keep going? No. It's about a half jar. Mama Bear's gonna stop right there. Um. Gotta have some of that tea. Oh, I wanna lick my finger, but I still can't. Oh. Um. Oh, so good. So good. Uh uh. I got you. Hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> gotta have some of this green tea. It's starting to get cold now, too. Perfect ending. Yes, buddy. Fish tail. Give her. You're Canadian, eh? We seen one guy today, Daryl and I, and he fishtailed. No, we actually tried to do like a donut going around a corner in a street, from a street to another street, trying to do like actual donut. I said, this guy's either going to lose a hubcap, he's going to bring up solid into something. And then when he got to his desti destination, got out, here he was, on the back of his jacket, security guard. We looked at each other like, hmm, security guard. Let's do that donut again, shall we? It's major sarcasm, boys. That's too funny. That green tea is the bomb.com. We're going to go in and have some of these um, Blossett Raisins bars. It's all the iron. See, this is the milky chocolate stuff that I like. I don't like this deep, dark chocolate that Daryl likes. Mmm. <sighs> I didn't even offer you the first one. <gasps> Have some. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, chocolate and cheese. What more can a girl ask for? Chocolate and cheese. You won't see that on a mug, though, will ya? Mmm. Okay, you guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. I'm still going to eat my floss at raisins off camera, of course. And my tea. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Phenomenal day. I know I am, and I'm going to continue to have a good day. Daryl, um, yeah, that's what Daryl said to me. Girl, make sure you have a fun day. I have it in writing from him. Yes, I do. <laughs> He's so sweet. He always wants the best for me, and I always want the best for him. I hope you guys have that right now in a relationship. And if you don't, I'm praying that y'all are going to find it, because there is nothing like it. I was married prior to Daryl, and that marriage was the marriage from hell. And this marriage with Daryl, I could not have been blessed more, you guys. No way. Nope, I could not have been blessed more. No. Nope. I am so blessed. And I honestly believe with all my heart, Daryl is blessed too. Yep. Huh. And I only want, ever want the best for him, you guys. I don't care what you haters say. I don't give a rat tittler toot. I don't care what you say. I want the best for my husband. He always wants the best for me. And I know some of you guys may be jealous about that. And some of you guys may be hurting because you don't have that in your lives. Don't be hurting. Don't be jealous. That makes you look and feel and whatever. It just looks pathetic. Like, be happy for other people. And I'm telling you, by you being happy for other people, that happiness will come to you. 
I had to wait a three long year period to find Daryl. Oh, I prayed almost every night, Lord, I do not want to die alone, Lord, no. No, Lord, no, I'm not dying alone. And I had to wait a three year solid period where I date it. I date it. But everything I picked was trash. I didn't know what God had in store for me, you guys. And I don't know why I'm saying all this again. I've talked like this about Daryl and our relationship over the past six years of doing mukbangs. If you watched any and all of our content, you'll, you've will you already heard me say that time and time again. And I'll always say it. I'm with Daryl till I die, and he says he's with me till he dies. So, the rest is up to God. Not man. Up to God. We trust God with everything, you guys. Everything. And until you find that... Until you trust God your own self personally, you may be miserable for a while. Learn to trust God more, you guys, if you don't. I depend on God for everything. Everything. We even pray, Lord, please give us a parking spot tonight, Lord, because of the weather. In Jesus' name, Lord, give us a parking spot right by that door. Because the weather sometimes is nasty when we're in Canada and shopping. And you know what? Daryl will go down a row and there's nothing. And we'll come up the next row. And two, is it two? Two or three parking spots away from the main door? Empty. And what do we both do? We look at each other and smile and we look up. Thank you, Lord. That's what we do. Until you have a personal relationship with Jesus like that, of course you're going to look at us and call us funny and we're crazy and we're this and we're that. I don't care what you guys say. It doesn't matter. It's like rolls off my back. Yeah, I bring it up quite a bit because I feel bad for some of you people. I really, really do. Like, your lives are so horrible, number one. You want to spew out all the stuff you spew out. And that's why I react to some of your stuff. Because I find it funny, number one. Sad, number two. I ha I used to live and be in a married life with somebody just like what you guys are like, the, the negative people in my comment section. And I spent too many years with that person. I gave them way too many years. Oh. I don't know. I just pray you guys are happy in your lives right now. I really, really do. I pray you guys are happy, happy. And if you're not, keep looking up. Because when you look up, the right thing's going to come to you. It may not happen right now, but it's going to happen for you. Don't give up. I had to wait three years for Daryl, and that took... It felt to me like a blessed eternity. It really did. Anyway, I don't know why I went out with all that at the end of the video. Sorry, guys. Please don't be offended. Be happy for other people, and then your happiness will come to you. And that's me speaking from experience saying that, too. So, if you don't believe me, you don't want to hear what I got to say, that's fine. You can jump off the video whenever you want to. Yeah. Anyway. I have to um, get going. I have a couple more things to do. I've got to go get more $2 bags of Tostito chips. Not chips, but Tostito chips. Tortilla chips. Nacho chips. Um, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, I gotta get some more of those because we have a storm coming. And, um, I got there all the boxes of these. I got two boxes, you guys. Excuse me. I gotta get more cheese dip and I gotta get guac. Told you guys to remind me. Thank you for reminding me. I have to get guac. Oh, I can't wait to have some guac with my husband. Oh, you know what, you guys? It's the little things. I can actually cry. It's the little things, you guys. That's what makes me happy. It's the little things. I love Daryl so much, you guys. And I'll sit down. What are we in a car? Or when we're home. You know what? Eating a bag of chips together, having a cup of tea together. That's the moments you want to thank God for. Because I know there's some people like they're hurting.
It's the little moments you guys should be so thankful for. Especially if you've got somebody to share your time and your life with. That's what you want to be thankful for. Never ever take nothing for granted, you guys. Never. Anyway, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I can't keep going. This video is too long. I'm sorry. Whew. Sharing a pack of raisins. Or me eating a box of raisins. And my husband eating a box of, rais a box of raisins together. And seeing each other smile. That's what makes life happy, you guys. Like, And I know some of you guys are going to laugh and make so much fun of what I'm saying right now. And I really feel bad for you guys, the ones that do. I feel so bad for you guys. But uh, happiness is going to come to you. Let, you have to allow happiness to come to you guys, you know? Anyway. With that being said, I'm out of here. I was going to do peace, but I want to sip tea first. Oh, i got to get all that tea in me behind that cheese. Yes. I love you guys so, so much. Daryl loves you guys so, so much, too. Please, you guys, love each other. Be kind to each other. <sighs> Until next time, you guys, peace out. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. Stay blessed. We both love you. And even we love you. Um, stick around. And um, share us with your family and friends and everybody in the world, whoever you may know. And uh, we'll catch you right back here next time on The Ralphies, you guys. Love you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you all, all, every last one of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Love you guys.